All right, guys, welcome into It's the Law. Attorney Jay Davis is here from James W. Davis and Associates. Good time to have Jay on. Jay speaks Spanish, uh, is an immigration lawyer in many respects. Uh, Jay, let's talk about what's going down on the border right now. Caravans coming up, bringing hundreds of, of immigrants seeking asylum from Central America, you know, poverty and violence and those types of things. And they are camping out now on the border. Why? Well, because they're not crossing the, crossing the border right now. Normally, that fence or wall, whatever you want to call it, that's there would just be jumped, as you saw the people on mm -hmm. it and that type of thing. So normally, they would just cross on over and come on in. But because they're enforcing the border a little bit more strictly, then they're not letting them across, and l except for the speed that they can process them. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to process now and weed out the ones who don't have a viable claim, and then they're trying to, I guess, release back into the United States still the ones who do. So what's been going on for a number of years, and I've been doing immigration law for yeah, this is virtually the entire time that I've been, uh, when I first started about 15 years ago, I was the only attorney that was doing this type of law in Macon that spoke Spanish, mm -hmm. with criminal law combined, because those two go hand in hand. Um, but so the law has changed. It's been, uh, well, the law hasn't changed, but the enforcement of the law has changed yeah. over time. So when I started, you had people in jail for years on something that should have been a 90 day hold at the most. And now you've got people just, they've been for the past few years just coming in in mass quantities, which is drawing them up, which is risking their lives, which is putting them on top of trains and right. doing all these things. And the cartels are a lot of times doing this. This is a relatively safe caravan that's been had law enforcement sort of escorting them. That is not mm -hmm. the normal way uh, to go. That, I think that does happen about once a year, but normally this is a coyote is what the people who lead them across are called and take them through the, the holes and that type of stuff. And they're brought in for specific purposes and that's generally big business to get lo low cost labor. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have a lot of issues with the way it's done and, and I don't see this as a, as a plus for these people. They're not treated well in any respect on the way these things go. Sure, no, and they're I mean, their kid just sitting there camping out waiting to be yeah. processed. And the way it's going to go, they, they've been told, they've been led to believe they can get into the United States by coming up, making certain claims that would lead to asylum, would, which lead to the right to an asylum hearing. Mm -hmm. And then they don't normally have the hearings right there at that point, so their information has gotten, they're fingerprinted and that type of stuff, and then they're released into the to the United States population, and then they're all over the United States. This processing happens at all different centers. They're, they're taken all over the United States, and then they're given a date to come back. And mm -hmm. usually, more often than not, they never show back up for that day. So then they just remain in here in an undocumented status. And become and illegal immigrants, basically. That's right. Real quick, Jay, uh, before we wrap up, um, President Trump said, you know, this is an example of why we need to change our immigration laws. What's your re reaction to that? I think, uh, for me, I, I've been saying this for 15 years. Uh, we've been waiting. We thought it was going to happen under one administration. It, you know, it comes close. The, the party system, neither Republicans or Democrats, want to change this. Yeah. They, they have big businesses who are benefiting by this. So neither party wants to change this. But I think this is a, this is a clear view for the American public in general to see this is what's happening at our border. This is why we need something going on at our yeah. border. Because now we've got people down there, a National Guard, to try to keep them over. But across that entire border, yeah. you can't do that. Right. So they're, it, they're making it through. Okay, appreciate you coming on, Jack. Great to be here. May I touch you Always. next week again. Let's uh, get the last look at your weather real quick with Cecilia Reeves.